Dear colleagues, this is fecal emulsification of an intumescent cataract. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us observe the surgical steps. By this time, the main incision and two paracentesis incisions have been made. Now, I am going to stain the anterior capsule under this air bubble. Trap and blue 0.06 percent dye is injected and it is spread on all parts of the anterior capsule. Now, I wash the dye out using BSS, balanced salt solution. And now, capsulorex is the most challenging part of intermescent cataracts. Once the rexis is done nicely, the surgery is just walking in the park and see how it can be done. Viscolistic substance HPMC has been used. Now I incise the capsule and make this flap. It's a curved flap. Hold this flap and at this stage I do a very small rexis. I call it a mini rexis. And now through this opening cortical matter is aspirated to reduce the intralenticular pressure. The anterior cortical matter is removed. Now the nucleus is rotated and balloted. As the nucleus is tapped posteriorly, the cortical matter from behind comes along the equator anteriorly and it is aspirated. Lot of cortical matter need not be aspirated. Some amount of cortical matter if aspirated. That will reduce the intralenticular pressure drastically. Now make a small cut at the margin of this rexis. Hold this tag with utrita and enlarge the rexis to an optimum sized one. And at this, at this time see there is no tendency of the capsule to run to periphery. And we can do a nice rexis like this. That's it. And now management of the nucleus. The tip of the FACO handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. This is an Oatly Catarex 3 FACO machine. Now I bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus, hold the nucleus firmly and chop it. Hold it at another place and chop. This free nuclear fragment is emulsified and removed. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 60%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is the other hemineucleus. It is held and chopped and removed. Now see, this one fragment which is very near to the sideboard through which the chopper is has been introduced. Now this fragment is has to be brought at the center and then chopped, removed. Now viscoelastic substance is injected. Cortical cleanup is done. In this case, cortical cleanup has been done using bimanual irrigation aspiration. And it is very 
easy to remove the cortical matter using bimanual irrigation aspiration. You can have 360 degree approach. Now after thorough cleaning, uh, hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens has been implanted in this case. Now there is some amount of visco in the lumen of the curtis which must be irrigated out. That is it. The case is done. The side ports are hydrated. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The stroma on either side of these stub incisions are hydrated to make these wounds waterproof. A final lavage of the antechamber is done. Antechamber is formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention.